Okay, so today we will discuss about irreducibly diagonal dominant matrix, and where IDD is a short form of irreducibly diagonally dominant, right? And we will also look at its example. If you don't know about irreducible or reducible matrices, then I have already made a video on it. Uh, I have given a link in the description below. You can click on it and watch it. First of all, then you can come to watch this video, right? So let's start. So first of all, we will look at the definition. What does the definition say? An n by n matrix A, that is this one, is said to be strictly diagonal dominant if uh, you know the, uh, the 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 positive value. We can say the mode of uh, uh, diagonal elements is greater than the sum of all of diagonal elements. Right? We say. A is irreducible diagonal dominant if A is irreducible and diagonally dominant with strict inequality holding in the definition for at least one i. That means this should this should be valid. You know, it, it, you can say this should be valid for A uh, uh, greater than or equal to uh, for A i i. That is, all the diagonal elements should be greater than or equal to the the the, the sum of all diagonal elements and at least at least you can say at least one uh, you can say a you can say uh, the element you can say one a let me say a k k you can say the kth element for example should be strictly greater than the the, 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 the sum of all you know of diagonal elements you can say the sum of all of diagonal elements at least there should be at least one k which should satisfy this property, right? So let's look at uh, one example, then you might understand more easily. Now, here's an example. You can see here, uh, 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 I have already discussed in the previous video, uh, in the video of irreducible diagonal dominant, that this, with this uh, matrix is irreducible. So we see if, uh, this is you know uh, not greater than these two so how do i make this for example if i write here two then this is greater than or equal to these two guys right so you can say uh, now uh, it's okay now you can see here three is not greater than the sum of these two guys but if i write here what if i write here three okay so or uh, you may write here four i i may write here four then these, uh, the sum of these two guys is equals to this one, okay, no matter. But if we see, uh, if I sum these two guys, but uh, then these two should be and will be greater than this one. So this is not tolerated. So how we uh, resolve this, if I add these two guys, this would be 11. So if I write here 12, right? If I write here 12, so this one would be, this one would be, uh, you know, greater than these two guys, right? So here you can see this uh, inequality is telling about a diagonal dominant, and this is also diagonal dominant, but there at least one row is telling us strictly diagonal dominant, right? So we also take an, 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 an another example. So I can write here, for example, k, then two, then one, right? Similarly, I can write here zero, then five and uh, no, let me write here uh, one then five and then here you can say two and then here uh, you know six and seven and here 13 right so you can see the sum of these two guys is equal to this one and then the sum of these two guys is equal to this one but some of these two guys is less than this one right so it satisfies our condition and also it is a it is an irreducible uh, matrix, right? You can check uh, uh, the criteria that are I, I have already told in the uh, in the previous video. So I hope you have understood this definition. If you have any confusion or any query, you can write down in the comment box. So I think that's enough for today, and see you next time. Okay, bye.